Greetings everyone, today's Kung Fu story is going about the origin of Wing Chun. If you like these kind of stories like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. During the reign of Emperor Jia Qing, 1796 to 1820, Kung Fu masters who opposed the Qing dynasty were hunted down and murdered. One master of Shaolin Kung Fu was Yim Yi, who fled from Quanzhou in Fujian province to take refuge with his family in Liancheng, living as a tofu merchant. Yim Yi had a daughter named Yim Wing Chun who had secretly trained in Kung Fu with her father since early childhood. As a teenager, Yim Wing Chun had fallen in love with Lung Bok Chow. Before they could be married, however, Yim Wing Chun caught the eye of a local warlord. She rebuffed his advances until he made a startling offer, he would rescind his marriage proposal if she could beat him in a fight. Yim Wing Chun agreed, and her father negotiated for training time. The warlord gave her until the following spring to prepare for the fight, and to become his bride. News of Yim Wing Chun's predicament spread throughout the small village, and soon she was approached by an older woman whom she had befriended at the tofu shop. The woman revealed that her name was Ying Mui and that she was one of the Shaolin Five Elders who had managed to escape the burning of the temple. She knew that the tiny, young Wing Chun was no match for the fierce warlord, but she had a plan. Ying Mui had been using her time in seclusion to synthesize a new fighting system out of the snake and crane styles of Shaolin Kung Fu to better suit a woman or other fighter who did not have the advantage of size and strength. She began to train Wing Chun in this new style, concentrating only on the essential elements that could be absorbed in a few months instead of a few years. By the time the warlord returned the following spring, Yim Wing Chun was ready. In front of the entire village, she demonstrated a type of Kung Fu that had never been seen before. She used the warlord's mass and strength against him, flowing around his attempts to strike or grab her. Despite a weight difference of nearly a hundred pounds, she threw her entire body weight into specific targets that broke the warlord's balance and left him vulnerable to repeated strikes. When the warlord crumpled unconscious at Wing Chun's feet, a roar went up from the crowd. Yim Wing Chun was able to marry her true love, Lung Bok Chow, and true to the custom of that time, passed on her kung fu knowledge to him. Since many of the villagers had witnessed the power of this new style, Yim Wing Chun and her husband established a secret school to teach those who wanted to learn. After the death of her father, Yim Wing Chun and Lung Bok Chow left the village, settling in Zhaoqing in Guangdong province. Once more they began to teach, but this time the new style had a name, Wing Chun Kung Fu. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.